So, for example, if you don't like the color of a pink gel, I'm going to show you how to customize it. So we're going to pour some here inside our little play color palette. So full coverage, this is DIY gel in pink. And then we're gonna customize it. So I'm going to add a pink number one, which is a slight sheer color. It's like a strawberry milk color, very beautiful. But I need my happy gel brush for that. I'm really ready. If and when I dare say I dare someone. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you later about that. And then let's add a little bit of pink press on gel. And then mix, mix, mix. The never ending story. And the great thing about like doing it in in your play color palette, you guys, is that you can save it for later too. Do you mix with clear gel? I no. You don't mix it with any kind of builder gel or um, base gel. You need to mix DIY gel with either press-on gel or a pink. Why only those two gels? Because they're designed specifically for the one, two, three, go. If you mix um, a color in, like a regular gel polish color, gel polish does not have any adhesive property to it. So it can and more than likely will make your nails have lifting. In other words, this is a pink gel mixed with pink DIY gel to customize the color. And I also added a little bit of um, pink press-on gel. So let's scoop up a little bit. We're gonna apply it to the inside of the one, two, three, go. This again is the XXL Sculpted Square. And I'm gonna create my new nail bed. And I'm using the Happy Gel brush to do so. And then make sure because this nail does have a higher apex, we want to apply enough gel to the inside to make sure that it is nice and even. And then, oh, let's get a flash lamp ready. Freeze it in place. And there I go dropping everything. There's a little piece of glitter there. Uh oh. Then come I cut it. Stunning. And then flash the inside. And then the top. Oh, thank you. Only the best, right? I was telling the girls on Instagram that I'm so lucky that, you know, I have a job that I get to create products that really make a difference in people's lives and, and uh, you know, bring jobs here to America as well, too, which is super important for me. That you know, keep we keep the American economy going. Freeze, 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 freeze. Make sure there's no bubbles. Beautiful. And we're gonna bake this little nail bed for one minute inside the dazzling darling lamp. And let me put some music on. 
What do you guys want to hear? Let me know in the comments below. What kind of music do you guys feel like? Do you feel like some hip hop? Do you feel like some old school? Um, what's the vibe tonight, you guys? On Instagram, we had a whole bunch of interesting mixed stuff, but what do the girls on Facebook want to hear? 80s Italian music. I love 80s Italian music. She said disco, disco. You don't have to tell me twice. Let me get a good song. <laughs> Saturday night. Ooh, Evelyn Champagne King. Evelyn Champagne King. For the children. For the children that don't know. Miss Evelyn Champagne King when she was 16 years old. Ooh, yes, please. Thank you. Look at that color for the nail bed, you guys. So stunning. So let us begin to tailor the phalange. Cause I can't help the way that I feel No, I can't help the way that I feel The most beautiful shape for square nails, you guys, is straight lines. Straight sidewalls, straight free edge, okay? Love come down Ooh, you make my love Come down So she's really boxy Oof, Yes, thank you Let's blend in that cuticle Let's use the verse bit This bit is incredible Because she is a true verse she can do the top and the bottom of the phalanges. For your non-dominant hand, love, DIY gel is going to change the game for you. You know, it was interesting because I have had a few questions about if DIY gel is really just for the DIY market or if people that work in salons can use it or people that are nail technicians, etc, etc. DIY gel, the, um... The reason why I gave it that name was because I couldn't think of anything else. One, because we've started to run out of ideas. Because we had so many products here at EarnOlCouture.com. But DIY gel is like press-on gel, but it is such a flexible product because it is so incredible. It is... Originally, we had promoted it as to last 14 days on the nail, but easily, hands down, will last at least 21 days when applied properly. And it's a product that you can use at any stage of your career. Beginning to end, pro to novice, to uh, freelancer, or whatever you may call it. It's perfect. Because people are like, oh, you know, the name DIY, they'll be like turned off by it because they'll think it's on for the DIY market. But no, that's just, that's just the name, honey. And as you guys have seen me use it many, many times, it lasts like crazy. And what I like about it, or the advantage of it, is that when you are doing the nails, it stays in place when you apply it correctly. Nail time tomorrow, awesome! I'm so glad you're getting out and you're feeling better. That is a blessing. Ooh, this is a good song as well. Uh oh, they might take this video down because of the music. I forgot about that. 
I didn't change the speed of it. Jeez. Good job, Max. See, that's what happens when you get to be as old as me, you guys. So, we're going to encapsulate a little bit of glitter in the back of the nail. Okay. For, like, a ombre fantasy. So, I'm going to use a pink number one. You can ring my bell. Even just like that looks really pretty, doesn't it? Have you guys um, ever tried acupuncture? Let me know in the comments below. I made an appointment to go next week to get some acupuncture. Because you know when you get to be my age... You're sore, you're tired, you wake up in the morning and you sound like Rice Krispie Treats. Like Rice Krispie Cereal. Snap, crackle, pop. Just make sure that glitter is gradient, so it is heavier at the back and then fades out towards the front, okay? Acupuncture is so healing. No, I'm older, I think. Stress and pain and wait. Ooh, wait, yes, please. I am old, love. I was around with the dinosaurs. here at the back to make sure she is heavier and then it fades out okay So let's bake this 30 seconds. Can you feel it too? Well, you look great. Thank you. Cupping is... I, I really want to try cupping too. I really want to try cupping, but I am scared of the bruising and all those things. Of you. Is the video still working? Roll in my bed, toss and turn in my The music is, is it speed up? Yeah, it should be, yes. Difference with acupuncture, you should do it twice a week. Wow! Hi from Florida. Let me read the comments on my other phone, you guys, because it's starting to look a little crazy. No, they're not looking crazy, but they are um, skipping on my end. So I'm just going to do a little thin coat of shiny to seal everything in because we're going to do our French polish hack. So I like to do my French polish on top of shiny. Why? Because that way it's easier to clean up your smile line. Turn the hand upside down. Let it so 
itself level out for a few seconds. And then for the two colors that we're going to do for the French is BB92, which is like this neon strawberry color. And then, look at that, how dope that is. Focus camera, beautiful. Let's freeze it. And then we're going to layer Flash Gel 163, which is the pink diamond. One second, you guys. All those good things. Make sure that color is cured properly because we don't want any pitting, any bubbles, any messes in our lives. Beautiful. So we're going to take, this is BB92 from the I'm Neon collection, and we're going to paint our free edge. And because these colors are one coat, you don't have to worry about super thick blobs of gel polish, okay? So I'm going to take my little dabbing dish, we're going to get a pure straight up acetone, okay? Good old fashioned acetone. Juan, lelas a mamá por favor. Let's get, this is our brand new beginner nail brush. My first nail brush. And we're going to clean up that smile in, okay? And look at that, like a knife through hot butter. If you were to do this on a buff surface, trust, it would be so messy because it would almost snag against the texture of the buff nail. That's why when you do it on top of shiny, you get this really seamless, sharp line. Just make sure the edge is nice and where you want it. Beautiful. So let's bake this for 30 seconds. Let me see the comments. No interruptions on my end. What do you recommend for best at hearing the nails if you're a bit rough on them? Base, uh, one, two, three, go. So one, two, three, go, uh, DIY gel or press on gel. Either or work great. Oh, thank you. We're using acetone, not alcohol. Oh, that's a really great question. Alcohol has water in it and you will not get a sharp, clean line. Alcohol will actually make the gel polish expand and you will have uh, moisture on the nail and that will also get into the um, Into the gel polish and kind of make it marble acetone will straight up just swipe it clean So now we're gonna go in with the famous pink flash gel, which is 163 I'm gonna turn on the hard light for this so that way it gives everybody the fantasy. I'm just gonna follow the smile line I created.
and make sure we stroke it thoroughly so that way we get a nice even application okay Make me feel mighty real. You make me feel mighty real. You make me feel mighty real. Okay, access. Beautiful. Turn the hand upside down and let itself level out just for a few seconds. Beautiful, and we're going to bake this for 30 seconds to freeze it. And then we are going to apply one coat of Wonder Gel on top of everything and seal that so that way we can apply the diamonds with squeezing. Mighty real. Make me feel mighty real. Prepping the natural nail with acetone? No. That's what nail prep and primer are for. And you're welcome. Love the design. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Beautiful. So, oh, I got stars. Yay, thank you. I love you too. So let's apply a little coat of Wonder Gel over the entire Filani, Filandry. Seal everything in, make it nice and smooth. Well, turn it upside down. Always turn it upside down. When in doubt, upside down and all around. These nails are really giving me the Anna Nicole Smith vibes so. though. We're gonna bake it for one minute. Actually, we can get away with 30 seconds because we're gonna bake the final coat for one minute. Boy, I'm Max, loving them so much, thank you. These are fire! Do you typically plan your design out or just go with the flow? So curious as they always come out gorgeous. Um, it depends on the day. It depends on the occasion and it depends on the model. But usually it's if we have something new we're going to promote that so um, I'll, I'll uh, do that. Or if it's a design I have that I've been wanting to do, I'll do that as well too. So it just depends on the day. We're going to get squeezy gel. And we're going to apply it along the smile line. ¿Te contestó? No. ¿A la casa o al celular? ¿En serio? diamonds. Remember you guys, all of our diamonds are 25% off. No promo code needed. about using squeezy or gummy gel and shiny is that you have all the time in the world to move the diamonds around and apply them exactly where you want. Look at that. Wow, stunning. 
Let's bake this now for one minute, and I will catch up with the comments. Let me close this up because I don't want to make a mess. Catch me all night long. Love it, Max. Thank you. OMG, Max, Luz Radiante. No sé si me recuerdas de tu son. Saludos, me encanta tu producto. Siempre a poner uñas tan bellas. Ah, gracias. Qué amable. Love it, Max. Thank you. Max, question. I received my A pink in number one. Whatever I use it, do I still a base coat? Oh, so A pink number one. A pink is a three in one product and it's also a rubber base coat. It is a color, it is a nail strengthener fortified with vitamin E and calcium. So you do not need a base coat underneath that. And you can also use it as a color. And that is right. And Tony got that one. I'm Touch me all night long. And then we're gonna finish with a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil. Look at that, all nice and snatched together. Ready to go nowhere. Nobody wants to go out with me. How sad. I have these fabulous uh, phalanges and nowhere to go. I got a little gel here on the skin. A little bit of cuticle oil. Oh, thank you. A hundred years of being in the dark arts, that's how they look so uniform. Practice, practice, practice. It really is the only way to really get really good at nails because any kind of uh, beauty service, the way you get better at it is repetition. That's how you build consistency. So I always tell people, you guys, don't, don't compare yourself to other Instagrammers. Don't worry so much about it. Just work it. Uh, focus on practicing and on your consistency and your timing. Look at that, so beautiful. Let me turn this on. Look at that. Wow, it looks so dope, right? Ugh. You're welcome. What inspired you to do nails? I grew up in it. I grew up in it, and my artistic style, my style comes from a combination of, I would say, uh, half Soviet Union and half Japanese early 2000 nails, because that's when Japan used to be really good at doing nails. But I spent a lot of time in uh, the former Soviet Union uh, training, that's where I learned to perfect my skill, and I also was lucky enough to train with some of the best of the best in the nail industry, like uh, Trang Nguyen, who was a world champion, and Tom Holcomb, who uh, passed away. Look at that, you guys. Look at that glitter flash gel fantasy. And this is already, you already know, that pink diamond bottom chick, 63, look at that. Let's get rid of the flash, look at her. Flash off, flash on. Beautiful. Obsessed! Well, my loves, that's gonna wrap it up for today's live demo. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. And remember, there is only one enolcouture.com and there is only one Max Estrada. So if you get any weird messages from somebody that we use in my pictures, it's not me. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!